Today I'm reacting to a challenge from America's Next Top Model that left contestant Brittany in a rage, crying and screaming. She was so upset because of this. So let's take a look and see what happened. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. You are going to go and meet different designers who represent very different areas in fashion. And this is where Jodie's going to really be able to help you out. Yeah, it's really important to be a chameleon and make it really easy for them to see you selling their product. So just really understand your audience, who you're trying to sell to. Now, <laughs> who are we trying are to sell to? Judging you on your personality, okay. your portfolio, and also on That's going to be tough. And You've at seen the, the end pictures. Of the day, the girl who makes the best impression on the designers will win the challenge. Look, I gotta be honest here. I mean, the girls are at a dif disadvantage already. I mean, the portfolio. Have you seen the pictures that they take for the girls? If I am one of the girls and they ask me to do this, I'm showing up with no portfolio, okay? There's no way I am showing a random stranger a picture of me on an alligator. <gasps> Pipsy, no! What? What? I know what she wants. Just don't have a portfolio going into this. That's that's the pro tip I would give the girls. What's worse, you feeding a chicken for a photo shoot or you not having that photo shoot at all? I'm just saying. And at the end of the day, the girl who makes the best impression on the designers will win the challenge. Now, you must be back here by 4.30. Anybody who comes here after 4.30 will be disqualified. We'll see you back here at the end of the day. Okay, disqualified from what? There's, uh, did I hear a prize, a cash prize? No. Did I hear, are they getting a gift card? No, are they getting a spa, nothing, nothing. But you're just gonna be disqualified from nothing. But be here by 4.30 though. This is a perfect opportunity to go get some food. At least they're giving them a ride this time. Not like in, in France where they're like, okay, um, good luck on the Metro. And you're not supposed to smile in the Metro. When I was in the Metro in France, I would literally be like this. Even though inside I'm like, you know, I'm listening to my music, I'm like. We have a map, the names of the designers, their dresses, and time is ticking. 13 Cook Road. Okay, that's good. So the, they just take, the drivers take them where they're supposed to go. Okay. Jocelyn, nice to meet you, nice Jocelyn. Meet you. My strategy is to be calm, cool, and collective. You'd have a great runway body. I might get you to try on a bikini. Right now? Jocelyn had a great body. She held herself really well in her walk. So she'd be great. Okay. So far, so good. I see no problems with this. They have a driver who they give the address to and he takes them there. That's This is good. Now, this is what we needed from the beginning. What is your name? Natasha. Natasha. I love Natasha. Natasha from Russia. Yeah. Natasha I'm very from Russia. sexy and I'm using everything I learned to bring a lot of energy to the design. I would hire her immediately. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Renee, photographically, maybe need a little bit more work. But yeah, you think? you Photographically, I think it's the, just the pictures. Actually, this is what I'm talking to you guys about. Like, it's the, he's looking at, did you guys see the ice cream image that he was looking at? Where they had to hold the giant lollipops? Come on, that's what I'm saying. It's not the, it's not Renee. The critique is not on Renee, but just the the photos that they had them bring. I just think the, I think like Wayne, Mr. Wayne Cooper is just kind of, maybe he was just not expecting that. I'm pushing the button and I don't see anything happening. 13 Cook Road. Love the Always Sunny in Philadelphia Road, right? music. I don't get it. This, this music belongs in Always Sunny in Philadelphia. She's trying to break in. I see you guys have a lot of swimwear. Yeah. Dion has a really strong personality, which I think is great. She's very confident and bubbly. I'm going to go get changed now, but I want to keep it. I was like, can I keep this? You know, trying to see what they were going to say. Mm, I probably wouldn't. Oh, so much. I got to oh. keep a swimsuit. No. Oh, she gave it to her. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, so she made it. That's good. I think I had a little bit of trouble with my walk at some point. Brittany did a lot of Brittany work on my walk, <laughs> so I would not book Brittany for a show. 
Hope the rest of your stay is pleasant. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Tina. That's okay. It's like, she's like, I hope the rest of your stay is pleasant. We will not be booking her in the show. Definitely not. She walked like a, like a goblin. I can't comment on the walk as a runway expert, but as someone who does walk around outside, it could have been more relaxed. I did do a 10 hour hike in Norway, so I feel like I've done enough walking. To, I am an expert walker and hiker. That was my first hike, by the way. It's called the Troll Tonga Hike. Has anyone heard of it? I guess there's a lot of pressure, but I don't really feel it. I mean, one designer doesn't like you. It's not the end of the world. That's true. Unless the designer is your cat and you live with her. And she wakes you up at five in the morning. I like it when you're softer. She does have a tendency to look These pictures in the book. But I think <laughs> Renee would have a good future in modeling. How tall are you? Five nine-ish. Five nine and a half. I love how Natasha does the answer. <laughs> I love this. Ghost things are actually fun. You go try on different clothes. I love this outfit. Can I keep it? She is shopping. I love it. <laughs> She's like, you know, awesome. you don't need I'm it. Shopping. You know what? I can't. Yeah. Why doesn't she? She might as well get something out of this. There's, there's, they're not offering them any prizes for doing all these ghosties. Dion is the smart one here. Okay. Dion's like, those shoes. You going to use them? I feel like they are my size. I'm just saying. <laughs> You know, there was a top there. There was a top to the left if you want to grab that for me, too. I'll take anything, really. Oh, three. Why isn't it going up? Maybe you're on three already? There you're on go. three. Or no, no, she's not. The go see is actually the elevator. That's the plot twist. The designer's gonna great. like right. fall down from the. Okay, no, she's not. Before my go see with Kit Willow, I hear that she just had a baby, so I sneak a couple pictures of my son into my portfolio. That is smart. Aww, you know is. what? Those are gonna be the best pictures in her portfolio. The baby pictures. Those are better than the other ones they had them do. Let's be real here. I'd rather see the baby pictures than someone uh, sitting on an elephant. Aww, is. That's my son. I've got a baby. Girl. Oh, really? Congratulations. Thank you. Love that. Small talk thing, but you don't want to do too much small talk because it is a professional setting. You're not there to chit chat. You ask, how are you? How are you? Say it, Brittany. How? How are you? How you going? Sydney. Yes, I love it here. There you go. How you going? Australians love that, Brittany. Say it. How you go? Okay. I tried that. You know, my best friends are Australian, so I know a few things. How you going? You can't say water. You have to say water. Water. You can't say McDonald's. You got to say Macca Macca's. And that's how you become Australian. It's fantastic. Thank you. you got a really good walk. Nice and strong, but not too over the top. It's a winner. All right. Keep your arms under control. Very uncoordinated. The whole brain Ugh. is trying to work out how to catwalk. It didn't come naturally. I'm Dion. Hi. This guy is brutal. This I wouldn't. I hope that he said that only in the the B roll side interview because my confidence would have plummeted. <laughs> I'm Dion. Hi. Nice to meet you. My third go see was Kit Willow. When I walked in the room, I see this dog on the floor. Back. Ask like for the dog. Ask if you can have Dion's the dog. Posture wasn't fantastic. These are <laughs> I love her. That should be a meme. Her looking out like that. Love a bit of black on black. When I saw Dion, I thought lots of confidence. Definitely, I'd put her in a show. <laughs> I thought I was going to see that hanging out the back of your pocket on the way out. <laughs> Skirt. It looked good on her though, the black Jessica dress. Very young and fresh, which I really liked. Natasha was sexual and flirtatious, something I would not go for. Um, okay, interesting. Oh, is she not supposed to? Is she not supposed to hug? She's just trying to be polite. Like she's just trying to be nice. They made it seem like she did something awkward. Let me assess the hug situation one more time. Hold on, we got. I gotta watch this back. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 
with happened. there's nothing I'll, wrong with what I saw. She wanted she wanted to go in for a hug. There's nothing wrong with that. Australians love hugs. Okay, I've hugged many Australians, so I would know. Comment down below. Are you Australian and do you like hugs? Let us know. I have an hour left, so one more, and then I'm gonna go back to Priscilla's. I like this. Really got like it. it. Oh, I don't <laughs> I don't think they're being paid for a lot for this show. Really great legs and a great body for swimwear. Can we go to Priscilla's model management? We're just gonna head back to Priscilla's. I don't wanna be disqualified. How long is it gonna take to get back to Chalice Avenue? 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Okay, 15 minutes. okay. So I'm gonna go over to Cooper. Okay. Excuse me, do you know where number 25 is on the street? No, I don't. Okay, thanks. That's not right. Should have jumped in the cab. Oh my gosh. Okay, back to Priscilla. And heels too. That's Thank impressive. Thank you very much, sir. I was the first one back to Priscilla's agency because you don't make it back by 4:30, you are disqualified. What are we being disqualified from? Is what I would be asking. If I was dropped in to like Jigsaw's Jigsaw's basement and they're like, "Hey, you're gonna be disqualified in two minutes." Yeah. Okay. I would look at the dirty toilet in there. That and you know all this, there's probably gonna be like one light bulb and yeah then okay I understand like hey I probably should put some effort in for this I would need at least a hundred dollar Visa gift card, just to cover the gas. Shut that door and lock it. Hell yeah. <laughs> lock Try the door. Sorry I'm on such a time schedule. I really so she found it. That's good. So I saw her as quickly as possible. Hopefully I at least get brownie points for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, my cab driver obviously didn't come over here like I asked him to. I see that the taxi's not there. I'm like, oh. She didn't, she didn't ask him. She just said, I'm going to Cooper Street. This is not going to... Okay, I already know this is going to go bad because it seems like Brittany is already really flustered and seems already upset. She should have went to the last one. She should have just went back to Priscilla's for no reason. I asked my cab driver to meet me over on Cooper Street, and he obviously didn't listen. Oh, Brittany, you didn't. I asked you to meet me on Cooper Street. Ooh, the door slam. But I'm going to go over to Cooper. Okay. Leave this. My strategy. She probably just didn't remember that she didn't ask him. It's a high pressure situation, but she should definitely not be mad at the at the taxi driver. He didn't do anything. He's just doing his job. There's no reason to give an attitude like that. This poor man. The the way she slammed the door, I was like, I'm gonna go over to Cooper. But notice how they had this footage readily available. So all those other times where you see the models or the the judges saying you did this or you did that, and there's no footage to corro corroborate that. Now you know that they have the footage, like straight. They put that that stuff straight in there, so that's why I don't doubt for a moment whenever they say, "Oh, you did this," but they don't show the footage. My strategy is to see as many designers as possible, but it's really, really important to be on time. One minute. I went to go see the last designer, which I shouldn't have because I cannot fail this challenge. We're here, right? Is this it? Is she gonna make it on time? Oh, here runs uh, Jasleen. <laughs> <laughs> One minute. One minute. Oh my god. I make it back to Priscilla's a minute before. I'm like, where's Natasha? Where's my girl where's Natasha? Denise? We have two slackers. <sighs> Is it 4.30? Once that thing hits the 12. Four, three, two, one. Congratulations. These girls Congratulations. Are late, late, late for something that's very, very important. They just start celebrating. There's confetti. They're like, you guys made it. Congratulations. You win nothing. But yes, good job, everybody. You made it. You're not disqualified from the. Th we're not going to get into details, but you're just not disqualified from that thing that we're not going to say what it is. But you're, but you, you made it. Good job. Where's the, um, do you have like sparkling water? Sparkling water anywhere? Look at what is that? But the techni thing. technically they weren't late for the go -sees. They made the go -sees. 
If the challenge was to go to the go sees, then they were successful. Wow, that made so much sense. Don't yes, you missed it. No, I did not. It's so important to be on time. Even if you're a minute late, the designers don't want to see you. And consequently, you're disqualified from the challenge. Could you please wait outside now? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Ooh. I know that if I wouldn't be disqualified... I, I love Natasha. She, I love how I, she walked in. She's like, yes. Haram, she thought that she was, she made it. I would have, just let her back in. Why do you, they like sequester them outside. They're like, go outside, you peasants. You've made it three minutes after the arbitrary, the deadline that we, we gave you for no reason. And you don't win anything, but you're disqualified from whatever this is. Now we get banished. You're banished, head. Isn't that from Romeo and Juliet? You're banished from this room. Now just exit from the... There's like a side door, right there. Okay. Bye, Natasha. Yeah. Congratulations, you three. You've really shown that you're true professionals and you know the importance of being on time. But they, they were on time to see all the designers. That's... I digress. She deserves at least feedback from all the designers that she met. And she did show up to all of them on time. It's that's kind of messed up. They're just like go outside, wait outside. I was late for thirty seconds. I asked my cab driver to meet me on Cooper Street, and he didn't, didn't show up. I made it to five. I have a cab driver that didn't. It's okay. It's not okay. It is okay. It sucks because it's not my fault. It is because I asked him to meet me over there. Um. <laughs> I just want to tell you that some people have war in their countries. I can be upset right now, but I'm going to be pissed off. When Priscilla comes in to announce who won the challenge, Brittany is cursing and just going off. And you can actually see the expression on Priscilla's face like, who's that out there? Yeah, but at the mouth. He's not driving slow. I asked him to meet me there, and it took me two minutes to run back, and I would have made it. Don't be, please, don't stop telling me not to be upset. I can be upset if I want to. I have a cab driver that doesn't listen. I get Okay. I assume that Brittany knows that she's been disqualified as she hasn't come into the room. Yeah, one would one would think, yes. But anyway, girls, I've now got the comments that I love how she's just carrying on his number. She's like, um, anyways, we do have the comments from the designers that saw everyone here today. The two girls outside that are banished from this room. I am shocked. To say the least, that was a blow up right there. Britney's being very unreasonable right now and she has no idea. She thinks that it's the taxi driver's fault. She told him to meet, like she just forgot that she did not tell him. And she's having this huge blow up, not only at the taxi driver, but also at Natasha who did nothing. She was just kind of in the crossfire. I think that we're very, sometimes when we're angry, we're clouded by our emotions and we can't think rationally. She's having this blow up right outside of the office for the modeling agency. They can hear her. But anyway, girls, I've now got the comments that the designers have made. Renee, the designers thought you had a great personality, but they felt that you photographed too hard at times. Dion, your personality okay. appealed to the designers, but you need to work on your posture. Jasleen, you have a great body. They loved your walk. And overall, you got the best feedback in this challenge. So congratulations. I won! Oh, my God! I won a challenge! Oh, my God, you guys. Ooh, Brittany's going to hear that. Oh, my God. Oh, We're so excited for you. And Jody's now going to tell you what you're going to win. To spice oh. up your portfolio, they've booked an incredible photo shoot for you. Oh, so they do win some... So they do win something. Okay, well, you... See, that's why you mentioned that in the beginning. There's Then there becomes an incentive to win. Okay, let's see what they win. Okay, is, if it's not money, I'm not interested. I don't want to hear this, uh, you know, you win a free buffet. I don't, listen, I just need the, the money. PayPal, Venmo, credit card, that's all I want. Spice up your portfolio. They've booked an incredible photo shoot for you on top of the world on Australia's very oh famous Sydney Harbour Bridge. No. Oh, so no, you must no, pick no. a friend. What? <laughs> what? How is that a prize? All of you have done a terrific job today. Thank you. How? Thank you so much. See you later. Okay.
When I climbed the Sydney Harbor Bridge, just the preparation alone, it took one hour. We had to do practice climbing on like a fake staircase thing. And we had to clip in, clip out. We had to like do the, the safety protocol. It literally took one hour. And then it took probably 15 minutes or less to actually climb. And then we had to wait up there for like 30 or 40 minutes. To, we were just standing around. So that's what, that was my experience on this. Would I do it again? No. It was a cool view, but it just took way too long. I don't know how they're going to do a photo shoot. You have to be like... Uh, clipped in you have to be like you have to wear like a giant you have to wear like all this gear so I don't know if she's gonna be at the top or just on the bridge it doesn't sound like a photo shoot that's worth all this I would have preferred the $500 in cash was it worth it to me no I still would have went and got something to eat and then came back I would have went back to Priscilla's on time so they can't technically say that I didn't show up on time if that's the whole point if the whole point was just to show up to Priscilla's on time then going to all the designers is pointless. You can just go to one designer and then go back. As long as the one designer likes you and you get good feedback. But I don't, nothing makes sense. <laughs> Congratulations. All of you have done a terrific job today. Thank you. Have thank you so all of them? Much. See you later. Okay. I want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your business and brand online. They really help in bringing your vision to life. I've been using Squarespace for so long. I host my website on there. I absolutely love what they offer. They have amazing tools to create. Whatever you're looking to bring to life, whether that's a project, you wanna show off your pictures, you wanna open up a store, you can do it using Squarespace. They have designer templates, which you can switch out with just a click of a button. And the thing I like most is that it's really easy to use. They have drag and drop features. You literally click a picture, you drag it to where you want it to go and it live updates. So you can see how it looks on your website. And there's no plugins or anything you have to install or worry about. So you never have to worry about just things crashing on your website. And if you do have any issues, they have 24 hour customer support. So someone's always there to help you, which is why I just love Squarespace. One thing that I also like is that you can actually start a free trial before you even go live, before you make any decisions. So you should definitely check that out. And you can start a free trial by going to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Information will be in the description. Okay. Can I hug the winner? I love the Natasha. Winner. I want to hug you, Natasha. Yeah, I asked my cab driver to meet me on the street, like two streets over. Uh -huh. So because my guy didn't listen and said okay, I got Brittany, yeah. why you put up these excuses and make yourself look bad? She just has some excuse all the time. I would, I missed it by a minute. No, because she showed up at 4.31. Yeah. She was just one The receipts. Mm. She's, and Brittany is still blaming this poor man. She's like, it's, it's that man. It wasn't me because I didn't not tell him to meet me at the street that he didn't even know about. Um, and then I wanted to do... I'll go see that I probably didn't have time to do it originally but I was just gonna walk there but then I got lost walking there and then I barely made it there and then I, when I walked out no one was there just like I expected because I didn't tell anyone to meet me here on this street but I am gonna be upset about it and blame the taxi driver whose name is whose fake name is Tim I want some justice for Tim because he's just out here doing the drives he's just driving He's vibing in the car. He can't even listen to music. He can't listen to a podcast, probably, for copyright reasons. Brittany will not let this go. She's going to continue. Is she going to continue to blame the taxi driver during judging? That's what I want to know. And are the judges going to bring that up? Watch my next video on this episode. There's going to be a link in the description because I definitely want to see what happens during judging. So make sure to watch that. This is the part one to this, to that. So I'm actually going to be reacting to the photo shoot and the judging portion in another in another video. I'll have the link down below if you want to watch that. What are your thoughts on the situation? Do you think Brittany's in the wrong or do you think it was the taxi driver? Let me know in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching.